Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Did Shakespeare. My name is Cassidy Cash. This week we're going to talk about did Shakespeare have a royal patron? When people talk about Queen Elizabeth, they often mention that she was a patron of Shakespeare or that she supported his work in the theater. And that's partially true and partially not true. You see, Queen Elizabeth was a massive supporter of theater and the arts. She's one of the reasons that theater grew and blossomed in England at the time because she really enjoyed the arts and she invested in that and she invited playwrights to come to court like Shakespeare and perform for her. Shakespeare is recorded as performing before Queen Elizabeth at Greenwich and at Hampton Court Palace. Queen Elizabeth was massively supportive of the plays, but she was not actually a royal patron and you can tell because of the name of Shakespeare's company. Queen Elizabeth actually had her own playing company called the Queen's Men and the massive plague that came through London wiped out much of the Queen, Queen's Men's company and so a lot of the remaining players ended going over to Shakespeare's company and becoming part of the Lord Chamberlain's Men. That's a whole big long story, but basically William Shakespeare's company was known as the Lord Chamberlain's men because their official patron was the Lord Chamberlain at the time. When Elizabeth died and King James came to the throne, James stepped in and became the official royal patron of Shakespeare's company, which is when they changed their name from the Lord Chamberlain to the King's men. And they were called the King's men because the King was their patron. He was funding their work and the one they had to please with their performances. Now, arguably, Queen Elizabeth was the person to please when they were putting together plays. Obviously, Shakespeare, she was the Queen of England. So if she didn't like what you were doing, you could get in a lot of trouble. And people like Ben Jonson, who was arguably Shakespeare's best friend, did get in this kind of trouble. So when we talk about royal patronage for Shakespeare, the only royal patron William Shakespeare actually had was King James I. Queen Elizabeth was never actually Shakespeare's patron. That's it for this week here at Did Shakespeare. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new about the Bard. Thanks for joining me this week. If you liked this video and you like learning about Shakespeare, please hit like and subscribe to this channel. I'm here each Saturday with a brand new video about William Shakespeare to help you explore the life and history of the man himself so that it informs your study of his plays. You will enjoy going to the theater more and enjoy seeing the productions more when you understand the history behind them. And I hope to bring that to you in bite-sized chunks each week here on the YouTube channel. So hit subscribe and become our friend and I'll see you next week. Don't forget that Hampton Court Palace is one of the stops on our September 2019th tour of London and Stratford. We will be taking a group over there in September of 2019 and you can go with us. Hampton Court Palace is the site of Banqueting House. It is the only surviving theater where Shakespeare himself performed and appeared at court. So you will literally be standing right where Shakespeare stood. If you're interested in going with us on that trip, getting more information and being the first in line when tickets go on sale in just a few weeks, you can find out more at at CassidyCash.com slash Travel Shakespeare.